Tesla Roadster review. Most electric cars were designed by and for people who fundamentally don't think we should drive, says Martin Eberhardt, one of Tesla's founders. Tesla set out in 2003 to change that with the Roadster. It took until 2006 before the Roadster was unveiled. Production started in earnest in 2008, with 10 production cars reaching California by the middle of last year, and 150 by the end of the year. The Roadster is the first Tesla, but it won't be the last. More models arrived in the shape of the Model S and Model X. Ever since carriages dispensed with horses there have been electric cars, but for much of the past century they've been relegated to niche vehicles, performing at low speeds over short distances. Even supposedly radical recent ones do little else. The Tesla Roadster aims to change that. It's not just an electric car, it's an electric sports car, and a very expensive one at that. It is Tesla's attempt to glamorize electric motoring and, as we'll discover, it's fascinating, totally relevant and revolutionary. Buyers can choose between the standard car and the Roadster Sport, which gets lightweight alloy wheels, more performance-oriented Yokohama tires, 10-way adjustable Allen's dampers, adjustable anti-roll bars, and a more powerful electric motor. If something about the Tesla Roadster looks familiar, there's a clue on the business cards of Tesla's UK employees, which read, Potash Lane, Hethel. Not coincidentally, it's the home of Lotus. Beneath the pretty body of the Tesla Roadster lies the chassis layout of a Lotus Elise. Note layout, not the actual chassis. The Elise's passenger tub, famously, is a bonded and riveted extruded aluminium monocoque, flexible enough, in the design rather than physical sense, to accommodate different powertrains, configurations and setups and be built in different styles. As a basis for a low-volume electric car, it was the obvious choice. There's no space under the nose for luggage, just cooling fans, electric motors need to be cool too, and something that looks like it could give you a very interesting hairstyle if you touched it. Halogen headlamps are standard. They're perfectly adequate for a car of this type, the lights draw a couple of amps. Exposed LED rear lights look distinctive at night but during daylight they appear rather conventional for what is an entirely unconventional car. Behind what looks like a conventional fuel filler cap nestles the Roadster's charging point. When connected it glows white, then pulses orange if it's being recharged. The pulses come quickly if it's nearly out of juice and more slowly once it's approaching full charge. The exquisitely finished troll bar is not the only carbon fiber to feature on the Roadster, all of the body work apart from the bumpers is constructed from the material to save weight. Alloy wheels come as standard, 16s at the front, 17s at the rear. Although there is no choice of style, you can opt for chrome or black. Signature edition roadsters get a body colored hard top as standard, with the alternative of the classic Lotus soft top, which, with a bit of practice, is easy enough to remove, fit in a hurry. The way the Tesla Roadster delivers its performance runs contrary to a conventionally powered sports car. Mechanical sympathy would normally prevent us from pushing a car hard from cold, yet this is exactly what the Tesla demands, delivering optimum performance with a cold motor but warm batteries. Which means hitting the throttle immediately after a full recharge. Then there's the way the motor delivers its power and torque. The Tesla produces its full torque the instant it starts spinning. It does not have a completely flat torque curve, torque stays constant until 6,000 revolutions per minute, nearly halfway through the rev range, before starting to fall away linearly. The power, by comparison, builds gradually to an 8,000 revolutions per minute peak before tailing off. The effect of all the Tesla's instant torque is offline acceleration that's exhilarating, but strangely undramatic. Release the brake and the Tesla creeps forward like a conventional automatic, but hold its brakes while building some driveline tension and when you release the brakes the Tesla simply goes. Even on a damp surface with the traction control disabled it wouldn't brake traction. The nature of the drivetrain means power is introduced so smoothly that there is no jolt to unstick the tires. It's properly fast, too. Even the standard Tesla demolishes each 10 miles per hour increment up to 40 miles per hour in less than 8 tenths of a second, 
the delivery is exceptionally linear and, with no gear changes to punctuate the acceleration, you're left to marvel at the forces acting on your internal organs. Although we were unable to match Tesla's claimed 0 to 60 miles per hour figure of 3.9 seconds, our best, in the cold and 2 up, was 5.0 seconds, the Roadster's eerily smooth, fuss-free performance still impressed us. Tesla claims a 0 to 60 miles per hour figure of 3.7 seconds for the sport. Brake pedal feel is accurate enough for road driving, but for track work it could be more precise. The stopping distances, even considering a damp track, are on the long side, too.